Hey guys, one clue here. I hope all of you are doing really well and having a really great day. In today's video, we want to take a look on another update for the BitX miner. So let's get started. <laughs> As you can see guys, we are currently on the GitHub repository from the BitX ESP miner and this one is basically the software that runs the BitX. I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded anything in the recent days, I was quite busy for a couple of weeks, so I'm a little bit late when it comes to the recent update. So we do have the version number 201 and this is the version that we want to install. And what we want to do is we want to test out the OTA functionality. So let's hop over to my BitX device. In here you can see this is running for quite a while and what I want to do is go over to the settings page. In here we do see that I can upload a couple of files. So let's see, what I want to do is I want to click update this file so i go to the downloads and i want to choose this file and upload this okay seems like i need to rename this give me a second and let me rename this so we need to rename this to esp minor shouldn't be an issue so we use this and we upload this now this should normally upload to the esp and then gets installed Afterwards, I can also upload the website. Let me do this one quickly. Let's select this one. And normally what this should do is it should work. Let's see. So let's give this a couple of seconds so that we can see if everything is working as expected. And I'm sorry if my voice is a little bit low today. Uh, I'm recording this midnight, so yeah. People are sleeping around me. Okay, sounds good. So let me see and let me restart the bit eggs. Uh, while this one is restarting, let's quickly go over to the releases and see what has been added or what has been changed. So basically what we do see here is a temperature protection for the BitX201, so basically the Ultra device. As you might know, I do not have a Ultra device currently, I will get one soon, but currently I only have the, the Max with the BM1397. But we can see that they have added the functionality of a flip screen so that you can flip around the screen uh, by 180 degrees. Basically they release it as a OTA flies. Okay, that's pretty good. So I cannot check on the temperature protection. Probably this is that if you if you try to, to overclock your BM1366 uh, 1366 too high and it gets too hot or the fan is not spinning, uh, it will probably shut down itself. So that's pretty cool. Let's go back and uh, let's click on it. So let's see. So we see that we do have the version 201, so that's perfect. Um, we do see two accepted chairs. Let's wait for a couple of seconds. I see a hundred gigahashes and there we go. We see real time logs. So it seems to be working. Uh, let's see if we can get a couple of shares in there. Okay, seems like accepting IDs are passing through. So everything is working as expected. So let's hop over to the settings page. Let me select the flip screen. And now this should be flipped. I will also try to put in a video here, so the video overlay so that you can see when I use the flip screen functionality that this one works. Yeah, basically that's it for today's video. Thank you guys and I really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on further videos. Peace out.